Hey guys, Wild Tricks here from Wild Gaming. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make something like this. Like, just it's easy. It's something easy. It's not hard at all. Um, or something like this even. Just a background so people know basically what your video is about. Like, we now from this we don't even have to read the title. We can just we know it's Black Ops 2 that he's playing Black Ops 2. It's H2O Delirious who made the video, and it's a question and answers video. So, it's kind of obvious. It names everything. So, let's say you're making a GTA 5 Funny Moments video. Um, you can just put GTA 5 Funny Moments and put Photoshop a guy into there. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to find a guy to Photoshop into there, and then I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah. So, let's get on with this. So, um... Let's insert a video track because that's kind of obvious. Go to file, hit import, and then go to media. Alright, and then you're going to want to go to images, or whatever image you saved it as. Mine is images. Um, so it should, so mine will look like this. I'm just going to stretch it out over a short time period. So you see how these black lines are here? Um. Yeah, that, yeah, that is an easy way to fix that. You just right click here, go down to properties, and then hit maintain aspect ratio. You uncheck it, and then hit OK. And then it'll stretch across screen. Sometimes the picture will get ruined, sometimes it won't. In this case, no, it's not ruined because it just makes it more stretched. So if you wanted, like, it's saying GTA, and the letters are perfect, it would stretch GTA a little bit. Or whatever way, like let's say the black bars were here, it would stretch it this way. But if it was black bars all around, it would stretch it all four ways. If you get what I'm saying. So next, you're gonna obviously want to insert another video track above it, and then you're gonna hit insert text media here. Um, I would suggest you go to dufont.com. I'll put that down in letters at the bottom of the video. Uh, not in the description. Oh, actually, no. I'll put it in the description, and I'll put it right here about somewhere, like, right here. Just so you can read it and type it in in a new tab. Alright, so, <clears throat> what, and a good font off of dufont.com is, I like, it's, there's one called Zian. The A looks kind of cool. That's an A. So if you did like GTA, whoa, invisible letters. If you did like GTA or something, the heck, it's like, all right. If you did GTA, I'm sorry, you can't. Don't hold down Shift when you're trying to type. So if you want to do like GTA, that's what it would look like. It's kind of cool. Um, and then there's another one. It's kind of cursive writing. Uh, I used it for my intro. It's called. Player one, it's cursive. It's like it's like a weird way. So if you did GTA for that, that's capital, and then this is lowercase GTA like that. Um, it's just another thing that's kind of cool. And then I don't remember what the last one was. That started with like an H. Hold on, guys. All right, I remember what it was called now. Crud. It was called Digital Tech. Here it is. It's it's another one. That's kind of cool. Like that. What the heck? Hmm. That's odd. All right. Uh, it's not. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Huh. That's weird. All right. So I'm gonna stick with. Xeon for this. Um, let's put in. So you can type anything you want. I'm gonna type in GTA. Oops, I capitalized it. GTA Five. Funny. Oops. Funny moments. So it looks sort of like that. And let's move this out the way. Or even, let's, I'll be right back. Hey guys, it took me about half an hour, but I found it, so we're good, okay? We're good. Um, I found the GTA 5 logo, but it's transparent, 
and if you guys don't know what that means it means that which most people would know what that means but you can see this background through the logo not through the logo but whatever part of the logo there's like no white border around it and i'll show you right now like look so you can see like there's it's transparent like it's only around the trimmed part that um <laughs> that's basically all I can say. So let's go to pan and crop. If you guys want to do this, you can find anything that's transparent. All you have to do is go to the Internet Explorer. This is what I did. It took me a while though. It took me a long time. But basically, all you have to do is go, and I'll I'll will I'll show you guys the link. Oh, I already saved it. I'm gonna make sure I did save it though, and I'll put this in the description. This link in the description. So if you guys were. So all you have to do is go to Google Images and look up whatever you're looking up and then type in transparent after it and it'll be transparent. And it 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 works, trust me. Oh no, but look, um it does that all the time. I hate it. Here, let's just we'll put it in the center. I'm gonna have to So to make it bigger Okay, let's put it I'm gonna see what would happen if I I hate having to do this, but crap. I hate having to do this, but I'm going to see. This makes it a lot wider, and you guys are going to see right now. Ugh. Uh, I don't know if that looks bad. I mean, I can probably try to fix it up. Hold on, let me check. Hold on, but now I can move it. Oops. Now I can move it over to the side, you see? So, it I don't know if many people would notice if we left it like that, you know? Because it's just going to be on our YouTube. I'm going to leave it like that, but make it a little bit bigger. Like so. And then you just basically type in whatever you want. Okay. <sighs> I'll be right back. You guys, this didn't take long to find, but it took a little while. So I'm going to show you my thing so far, and then I'm going to add it in. Alright, here you guys go. Look. this it's It looks cool, but look at this. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. It took forever to find. I'm not even like, I'm not, no, it's not even like, it's crazy. I'm gonna see if I can, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to make the, I'm gonna have to mess up the picture again, I swear though. I, I just hope it doesn't get messed up too bad. Oh my god. Whoa, that looks fairly weird me make it a little bit smaller eh, it's not bad it's not bad I might be able to work with it like let's say no you know what I can just I don't know hold it hold on hold on tada hey guys this is my cover for the video um that's what I'm going to put in front of my videos. I'm going to change it up every time, but n if you guys want to add something in without having to do this like I did, you go here, here. Actually, let me fix this. This is stupid. Let me fix it. So, it still does it, but I figured it out for the Trevor, but when you move it over, it still does it. So, what you got to do is when you get in here, you, you got to right-click it and hit Match Output Aspect. And then you can make it smaller or bigger, whatever you want. But then it fits perfect. Perfect. Don't know why I said that weird. Perfect. And yeah. So, what, what do I got? Hold on. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that's how you make it uh, a background for your YouTube. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And. Um, please drop a like and a subscribe to watch my GTA 5 Funny Moments videos. And, oh, how, how to save it is you just hit right here, save snapshot to file, and then you get, then you save it as whatever you want. I'm gonna save it as, hmm, back, background for GTA. Alright, and then I'll save it to my desktop, sure. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope I helped, please drop a like if I did, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.